I had honestly accepted the fact that I was going <laughs> Oklahoma City, courage and caring in the face of terror. Next, Rolanda. I would spend just about every penny on clothing and good haircuts, good everything. Drop some serious money, actually ridiculous amounts of money on shoes. I've been known to spend $400 on a pair of shoes. <laughs> All the things we do to be beautiful, and it costs big bucks, and that's getting folks in trouble. This man, what is your name? Victor. Victor, you were telling me a funny story during the commercial break. What were you saying? Um, met a girl, married her. Uh, uh, Just that it? quick. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> let, let go. You, come here. Let's get married. My mother, my mother said to me, what's wrong here? You always have a couple of dollars in your pocket, and she always has a couple hundred. Well, <laughs> it ended up, we, end, we, end, we end up getting divorced because she, she spent, I don't know, about three, four grand a month. I, I had 12, she had 12 winter coats, not including trench coats for the spring. It was ridiculous. And it, we ended up getting divorced. You ended up getting I, I divorced. I had one coat. <laughs> That's no joke. It's no joke. One, one. And here it is, folks. <laughs> he brought it with him. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. <laughs> that young coat. My God. At least she didn't take that as a divorce. My next guest says that when she gets paid on Thursday, well, she's broke by Friday. <laughs> all because she spends all of her money on looking good. Her friend says her spending is totally out of control. She has no money left for food. Please meet Shirley and Irene. <laughs> now, who's the big spender here? Shirley, what do you, you actually spend all that money, you get paid on Thursday and broke by Friday. Oh, I make it till Saturday sometimes. You, you do. Squeeze it on out there till the weekend. <laughs> what are you spending all that money on? Well, I like to just clothes. buy clothes yeah. and have my hair done and just do different things. And so, so, when Friday, so when that paycheck comes, you're like, yes. Are you one of those folks who waits for that paycheck to come and you spend it before it even gets there? Yeah, basically. Irene, I see you're shaking your head. She does. If she calls me before Thursday and says... Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping Thursday. You off tomorrow? And I said, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is the thing that is causing you the most concern about your friend's spending habits? You don't save no money for the future. She spends it all in two or three days. So do you have any money in a savings account there? I don't want to be all in your business, but you don't. No. <laughs> okay. So, Shirley, you know things do happen. Do you have kids at all? Yeah, I got two boys. You got two boys. Eight and ten. And you have nothing in the savings account. They have a college fund set up. They have a college fund. Mm -hmm. But I think what I hear you saying is a lot what Rosalind was saying to her sister, that you spend money, that's one thing, but what if an emergency happens? What if the kids need something? What if, you know, you might need that extra padding? You don't think about that kind of stuff, though, huh? No, not really. No. Okay. Well, I should, but I just don't. Okay. I got a question? Yes, ma'am. Come up. Stand up for me. I feel that you should put your kids first before you. I God do. forbid something happens to them, but you're spending all the money on yourself. No, my kids dress very nice. They, I paid my daycare, <coughs> and they have everything that they need and everything that they want. They're well provided for, and they're taken well care of. A sister concerned about her sister, a girlfriend concerned about her girlfriend. Well, coming up next, a husband's going to be complaining, and you know how husbands can complain. Husband complaining that he works six days a week, and the only thing he has to show for it is his wife's makeup. <laughs> we'll talk to that couple right after this.